Hey everyone, it's Dave from Medimatch. Hope you're doing well. Um, in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the latest update of the Temporis app from Medit. Um, so what we've got here is I've got a case uh, that in the pre-op stage, I've put a crown um, on the model um, and I've scanned it in the pre-op stage. So you can see that's the pre-op there. If I turn the pre-op off, um, I've also got the base scan as well. So I've got both the pre-op and the prepared tooth on different stages. I'm going to now start the Tempera's app up here. So, so you've got three options now, um, and you've also got the option of, of uh, doing bridges as well, whereas before you could only do single crones. Okay, so we're just gonna look at a crone at the moment and just see what these options do. So um, I've had a quick play around with this. So the first option, um, create restorations using Medit's library. So if you have got a, uh, a pre-op scan and it's put it into this position, it won't use a library tooth. It will uh, it will use essentially this one here, create a temporary restoration using both pre-op and prepared scan data. So it will actually use the pre-op uh, crown um, uh, in place of for the new restoration. Okay, so what we can do if we don't want to do that and we do want to use a, uh, a library model, we can just put this one up here and then press confirm. Okay, so it's going to ask us to define the margin. Yeah, that'll do. Press next. And you can see it's, uh, it's brought in a, a library file, a library crane. Okay, so at this stage we can make any adjustments. It's showing us contact points here um, with the uh, and the occlusion. Um, so if we move this a little bit, perhaps, and rotate slightly, we can do whatever we want. Get it into the right position. Okay, and then when we're happy, we press next, and it will crop all of that data for us and produce a crane based on that library file. Okay, here is, as before in, in the previous version, you can add and remove material and smooth bits off. Okay, um, and it has automatically adapted to the occlusion and the, um, the adjacent teeth. Okay, by clicking on the advanced edit, you can, you can work on the outside or the inside surface. Okay, so let's Let's exit that and let's try um, one of the other modes. Then we'll try the second option. So this is to create an eggshell type restoration based on the pre-op scan. So all we've got is the um, the pre-op scan and uh, the antagonist. So we select the tooth. So we just click on it and it will highlight and press next. Okay, so it's picked out a margin for us that it's going to uh, use for the eggshell crown, um, but it's going to uh, uh, copy the pre-op uh, data on top. So we can expand or um, shrink the, the margin, something like that. Press next. Okay, so it's, it's created an eggshell crown um, so it's just a, you know, it's not conforming to any prep underneath. It's just an empty space to be filled, um, but it's it's copying the pre-op data um, from the original uh, dentition on top. Okay, so again we press uh, the tick and it would save it all. We're going to cancel this one and uh, exit again, and we'll try the third option now. So this time we're going to go for pre-op data um, and the prepared tooth. So here's the pre-op um, in the right slot and the prepared tooth and then the um, antagonist. If you also had a pre-op for the mandible, you could put it in this slot as well, but you don't need to. Again, we're going to select tooth, click it, press next. And this time we're going to uh, define the margin. So again, I'm just going to do an auto margin because this margin's so crisp because it's a, it's a model one. It's easy to do. Press next. And it will create us a crown that conforms to the prep underneath and also uh, mirrors the, the pre-op scan on top. And again, we can make any adjustments by rotating, uh, moving, adding material, removing material. Um, and once we're happy again, we just press tick and we save. 
Okay, so that's the three options for uh, for creating a, a temporary crown in the latest version of the Medit Tempers app. Okay, we're just going to have a quick look at a bridge now, um, using using the the new feature in the Tempers app. Okay, so here we have a uh, uh, some sample data with some preps and a space for a pontic, and we've also got the pre-op scan data as well. Okay, so the pre-op is just the, the old bridge in place. Okay, so let's open this in the Tempras app. Oh, yep, yeah, all looking good. So we were doing the third option where we use the pre-op data and the uh, the prep tooth data. Okay, so you can see at the bottom here we've got each tooth numbered, so we know which tooth we're working on. Okay, so we need to uh, click on the corresponding tooth. Okay. So the first one is going to be this one. So we can just click it until it all highlights. It might highlight in stages like it just did then. Okay, and then we can click on the next tooth. Okay. If it, if it selects a wrong piece, just press undo. Okay, it doesn't like that, so that's no problem. All we need to do is we will use this minus tool here and we'll just brush that part away. So you can just do it in bits. Okay, something like that will be fine. Remember, we're, we're trying to define the, the crane shape, really. So the connectors we're not too worried about. Click on the next one and do the same again. Again, we're just going to deselect the stuff that is done by mistake. It's probably um, a symptom of this being a bridge and not um, natural dentition because the connectors are are continuing the uh, the surface across multiple units. Being a perfectionist now. Okay, right, and then the the four. So again, we can click like this. Fine. And press next. So it says large holes will be automatically filled. Um, and we can use the sculpting tools in the following steps to edit these results. So press continue. Okay, so we're now going to go uh, back through the numbers down here and we're going to define the margin lines. So we'll try and do an automatic margin line on these. I'm not sure if it will pick it up, but we can try. Yeah, it's done a pretty good job there. Okay, so we'll press on the next tooth, a nice defined area. You can use the little 2D uh, drawing to help visualize the uh, the angle that you're clicking on. Again, that's not too bad. We might nudge this one in slightly. Okay, that's good. And then the five is a pontic, so we'll go straight to the four and do the same. This one it might struggle with a little more, but we can try. Yeah, not too bad, a little adjustment. Like that. Okay, so for argument's sake, this will do for now. No, I'm still playing with it. Okay, let's leave it like that. So, we've now done the three margin lines that need to be done, and we press next. Okay, so, okay, I'm just going to go back because it looks like um, we maybe we painted, there was a, some material being painted onto the next tooth. So let's just go back and take a look. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's this piece of material down here. So we'll just uh, delete that. Okay, let's, let's try with that this time. So we'll just press next. Okay, that's looking better, I think. Yep. Okay. Okay, well, let's try to uh, conform this Pontic by the looks of things, and it's looking a bit unusual. We can, we can change that afterwards so we might be able to do it now actually so let's 
add some material in here. So I'm, I've got this uh, this tool here clicked on the right. I'm just left clicking to add some material. We can smooth it all off. Let's increase the brush size and the brush strength. And do a few clicks. And we should then be able to adapt this uh, to the soft tissue, sorry, afterwards. Okay, let's look in. Okay, let's smooth some of this now. Just leave it something like that for now. And of course, we can make any adjustments to the um, to the actual cranes as well, the retaining units as well. Okay, so I'm going to press next, and it will create our bridge based on all that information we've just given it. It's put our connectors in there for us, and it's automatically adapted this to the uh, soft tissues. Um, when you some you, you'll sometimes see this breaking through slightly. You've got to remember that these uh, these rendered images are, are you know are just a micron or so thick or whatever. There's, there's no thickness to them really. So when you see them poking through, it's not necessarily that they're actually really coming through the data. Um, it's just that they're matched up very closely. Okay, so that looks really good. I'm happy with that. Again, at this stage, we can make any adjustments if we want to. Um, we can uh, we can also go. And edit the connectors as well here so we can grab the nodes and we can move it around if we want to move it um, more lingually or buckily um, so yeah that seems like a really cool cool feature um, and we can then save down here again as usual save okay, so it's just processing so if we turn everything else off you know see there's our our bridge that we've created and we can then export that or send it to a printer or a mill or whatever we want to do with it okay i hope that's helped a few people out um and uh, yeah please go to medimatch.co.uk for any uh, any scanning needs thanks for watching